So, as we all know in part one of the December update, the Mustang and Tahoe were some of the vehicles that were actually redone in the game. But there's actually there's actually a few things that are quite interesting about the Mustang and the Tahoe, which is this vehicle right here. If you look on it at the outside, you know, nothing particularly looks different about it. You know, it's, you know, oh gosh, I feel like I'm so used to there being like a line here. I don't know what that's called. But if we actually get inside of this Mustang here, it powers on. But the real thing is when you go in first person, there is a steering wheel. What is this? There's a steering wheel now. It does not move for the tires. Nothing moves in this vehicle. But a steering wheel in a vehicle that there's no interior to is quite interesting. So maybe this is just how the you know how the vehicle was built. But this vehicle did not only come with a steering wheel. If we pull up some pictures here, we have a ton of pictures that people in the PRC Discord sent. Like this Mustang has a complete interior. And if we want to look at that interior a little bit further, in this picture, you can literally see the steering wheel, two seats, like a middle console. But if we want to get this from another angle, there are there have been like just a ton of pictures coming in the PRC Discord of this Mustang interior. Like as you see, this is another exterior picture. This is it from the front looking at the interior. So you can only really find these interior vehicles like at slots where it is for sale. And like at the car dealership, those are the only two places we have found these interior Mustangs and also Tahoe's. Like this is another picture of the Mustang here. It says for sale by the owner. And this, someone went in free cam and actually looked at the inside of the Mustang. So we do have another angle from the inside. But just look at this. This is the same exact steering wheel. That is in the current one right here. If we look at it, if we're comparing it, that is the same. It's got the red line or the red stripe at the top, as you see, it's present right there. I mean, just look at that, though. So you've got, like, the gear shift. You've got, like, the manual brake. Like, all of this stuff in the Mustang. And then here's another version or picture of the Mustang right here. As you see, it's got, like, the cup holders, the seats. Now, it is not very, like, it's not very, like, amazingly detailed. But as this picture right here gives you a little bit more of a closer shot of this, like, I don't know, this electric. Electronic console on the front, which I think is just really interesting. Which you can also see in the Tahoe that we have right here. There are interiors for this Tahoe as well. Like as you see, it is a th it's like a three-row cedar Tahoe. I think these are seats replacing the trunk of this Tahoe. But there are actually multiple pictures. This is back with the Mustang, and then this is another picture from the Tahoe. So I think this is pretty interesting. And I don't know if these vehicles were just made with an interior, like if they're coming from another game or something, or if this is possibly hinting at interior is coming in the future but i'm not sure because it is just really low poly i don't know if we would even want low poly vehicles matching like the atmosphere of liberty county so it's going to give me your thoughts down in the comments below tell me if you have found any of these interior tahos or mustangs or even if it's on any other vehicles because this is pretty interesting but it's also not the first time we have received a vehicle that has a steering wheel in it right here so tell me your thoughts down below tell me how you're liking the summer update and i'll see you guys all later goodbye